five minutes, I am going to show you, in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how you can get your audience to stop at your ad and stop scrolling through their newsfeed. Because this is one of the most powerful things online are Facebook ads to bring a constant stream of clients into your realm. So I always ask, get, get asked the question, how do I stop people actually stop at my ad and take notice of my ad? My click through rates are down, my cost per click's gone up, and it's just not profitable. So the next five minutes, I'm just going to show you three tips of how you can today implement these three things and you'll see a big difference in people stopping to look at your ad. And it's what we call the click through rate. It's not the link click through rate, it's the CTR, which is where people stop at your ad. And we're looking for 3% or above. So the first thing, well, first thing I'll say is it's Elaine Sanderson here. I run a lead agency. I work with businesses, helping them get leads via ads. Uh, Facebook ads is a huge part of that. And I help businesses and coaches build and grow their business with advertising. And a lot of it does start organically. So that's enough about me. The three tips today are, now the first thing is when your ad goes live, it's going to go on a number of platforms, whether you've chosen desktop, mobile, whether you've chosen Instagram, there's lots of platforms your ad can go live on. The most important thing is the first sentence at the very top of your ad. Now, if that's not going to grab your audience's attention, you really are going to struggle for them to read the rest of your copy and click through to what you want them to do. So the first sentence has to really spell out that this is for them, it's calling out to them, and they could be sat waiting for a train and then they suddenly stop at your ad and think, that is for me. So the first thing is the very first sentence. It has to have a, a pain that your niche is experiencing, a belief they have that you're kind of, kind of trying to break, and it really calls out to them. So this leads me on to the second point. The second point is I see so many coaches out there today trying to appeal to everybody. In fact, one I did a one-to-one -one this week with a coach and he was not only a health coach, he was a relationship coach, a financial coach, uh, a life coach, a trauma coach. And the thing is you cannot be everything to everybody. And if you are, you're gonna lose hands down and you're gonna get your fingers really burnt. So what we're trying to do, point number two, is really get rid of 90% of people. You don't want them. It's really the small percentage that you want into your fold that you are looking for your ad to, to, to resonate with. So how do we do this? How do we find our ideal audience? Well, that purely comes down to research. Okay, it's got to, you've got to know your niche better than they know themselves. So if you imagine following your ideal client around one day with a camera and you know exactly what they're up to all day long, and you can literally predict how they think, how they act, what they're feeling, what pain they're in. Now, you need to know that to run Facebook ads. You have to understand their pain, their desires, their beliefs, because if you don't, it's really hard to write the copy and it's really hard to resonate that message through all the noise online to actually pinpoint them. So the, the second thing I say is research your niche. You've got to know how they feel, what they're going through, what the pains are, what the desires are. And that comes from experience, research, um, you know, working with them one to one. So that's the second thing. The copy has to call out to one type of person going through one type of pain. OK, or maybe it's sort of the, the pain it could be a trauma, a depression, whatever, or it could be lack of leads, lack of clients. So that's the second thing. Know your audience. Now, what we're trying to do with our ads is break down their beliefs. We're trying to, you know, maybe they think you're, they've tried coaching before, it's too expensive, they can't do it, they haven't got the time, they haven't got the resources. Your ads have to break down those beliefs. Now, whether you do it in one ad or you add retargeting ads, that's another ball game altogether. So that's the second thing. Call out to one audience and get rid of 90% of people. You do not want to click on your ads. So just remind myself, so what we're trying to do is step three. As I say, we're trying to break down those limiting beliefs and we're trying to get that click-through rate uh, is not I'm not talking about the link click-through rate where people click on your ad I'm talking about the CTR when people stop scrolling so those three things make sure your first sentence is going to bang them on the head that's for me the second thing is know your exact audience know your audience and the third thing is not just know your audience know their beliefs their pains what they're going through and where they want to come out the other side, what transformation they want, and talk to them. And long copy generally works better than short copy, because as coaches, 
uh, with products and services that may be a little bit different. Uh, sorry, products, shall I say? But as coaches, we're dealing one, you know, people to people, and people like and resonate with longer copy. So I will say I've got a cheat sheet on this. I've done a specific cheat cheat sheet for you today on a specific niche, and I've highlighted. I've, I've given you the ads and the copy just to show you that you can follow that and you can look at your own niche and almost use it as a template. So I'll call it a template, a cheat sheet. All you need to do is comment below and I will DM that to you. Absolutely no problem. I don't want your email. I just want to add value today so that you can look at it, use it for your own business. So you're on the right track and you're not going to burn your pockets with Facebook ads because believe you me, you can. They could be the biggest drain or they can be your biggest friend. Okay, well, thank you so much for listening. Remember to just click below, just drop a message, and I will DM you that template, the cheap sheets, so you can start working on your ads today. All right, all the best. Have a lovely Wednesday.